Righty, so new job. Nice little one, this one. It's just um, an end of a wall has basically collapsed. Uh, we're going to put a little gate in, in between the end of the collapsed area to obviously a pre-existing fence post that's there. So yeah, just going to today just concentrate on getting that wall down, uh, getting it all prepped, uh, digging a hole, getting the fence post up, getting the gate, and then obviously I can build my end of the wall up to the post. It's just a lot easier doing it that way. But shock horror, it's raining. Look at that. Look, what a treat. But today, luckily, it shouldn't affect much because I'm just going to crack on with taking down the wall, um, getting her all prepped in that, get get the uh, footing dug out, basically, or the trench, should I say. And then, yeah, and hopefully, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, it stops. And, yeah, we can uh, get the other gate post in today and that'll be a good day. And then tomorrow, it'll just be a boom snap building. So let's uh, let's go see the damage. There she is. Right, so you can see the main culprit is that massive bit of ivy. Uh, it's got in there, just basically blown it out. And it uh, just literally, this end has come off as well, but you can just see it, there's so much soil and stuff in there. Uh, it's blue liar stone, so it's quite hard stone, but it's lovely as well, because as you can see, it's quite blocky. But yeah, no, so I'm just gonna take it down, just basically from there. Um, it's only a repair, like I say, the, the rest of the wall's not looking too pretty, but. It is still standing fine, so but that's all we're here to do is just take this end off. Um, like I say, put a post in here, fit a gate in this area, and then yeah, lovely jubbly. So I'm gonna go get everything out and uh, prepared and crack on. But yeah, it's all right, it's all right, little one. You can see, look, it's just everywhere, the ivy. Absolutely everywhere. But anyway, let's uh, yeah, crack on, get some uh, waterproofs on and uh, it's actually calmed down a little bit now. It's not too bad. It's uh, look at that, eh? But you can't trust it. So yeah, it's gonna crack on. Like I say, get all this prepped, and uh, yeah, job will be a good one. Hey, hey, hey. it's all right. Little second-hand gate, isn't it? So I've got the gate on this post anyway. So I can just gauge where I've got to put the other post, which is looking about there. Um, so obviously then I can just bring my wall to a lovely end. But no, it's a nice little gate on there but anyway yeah so i've uh, continued nibbling with the wall and uh, if you look this is precisely why you do not let ivy get into your walls because it does this it just makes loads of canals loads of roots etc little passageways and just moves everything as you can see down there there's a big one going through he's just blown it out absolutely blown it out so that is precisely why you do not let it grow in. Because look, it is just sort of the thing you get with it as well is once it's in your wall, um, it actually, yeah, you, you're better off basically rebuilding the wall. Because if you kill that off now, um, the ivy will just shrink, die, and then next minute your stones have got nothing to really basically lean onto. So what it does, it gets into your wall pushes all like the mortar outline whatever's in the wall gets into any gap possible even like through like where the stone's blown it'll get in there and then it'll grow expand push everything out and then once it's in unless you want to basically if you want to sort it out and uh, sort out the look of your wall you're basically looking at a rebuild you can't really repair it you know what i mean it but then also if you go and just basically spray it kill it or whatever just to get rid of it you're actually creating another problem so if you don't want to rebuild your wall you're better off just leaving the ivy in there really but yeah so that is where i've got to um i say that's the end bit there so i'm just going to bring it down like that so it's got a massive lump in here it will go like but i just want to be really careful i try and keep this site really tidy so yeah it's uh but it's nice going good we're doing all right um like i say right rain stopped for a little bit so yeah that's handy but no lovely job looks like that bit's there it's gonna yeah she's gonna go but no it's all right but yeah i would say the little gate's in hey already righty let's uh crack on and get the rest of this wall down
Ah, oh, anyway, got a lovely cup of tea. Oh, nice that, nice. Must be a Yorkshire tea, that. Only Yorkshire tea. But yeah, so I've just stopped for a second to slurp my tea down. And then I'm going to crack on with um, probably banging in that fence post. I've got some post crete and that, like I say, it's only a, a little four. I think it's a four inch by four inch um, just generic gate post. They're about sort of six foot tall. So get that in just so I've got all my area sorted um and then yeah obviously then carry on with taking down the wall and then yeah so what i'll do i'll just get get a post crate in just obviously put a load of stone over the top just give it a bit of protection i've got a load of sheet and stuff here so but i'd like say post crate is rapid in it so it goes off quick 10 minutes it says on the tin but yeah so gonna crack on with that like i say after i've had my tea and uh yeah just really hope this rain does go away like you know it was forecast a nice day. I just don't know what's going on. Just don't know what's going on. Right, let's uh, do that and uh, see what happens, eh? See what happens. Well, hey, it has stopped raining. Right, well, I've just banged my post in. That's all, uh, well, it says 10 minutes, doesn't it? But I'm going to leave it a few hours. So that's just going to shut up to that. Lovely jubbly. Just got to attach this little hook to go on there. So the catch can catch onto something. Not really a sort of fencing type of guy. Like I can do it, like, but I don't like doing it. <laughs> anyway, wall. The main important, most important thing, the wall. Got to uh, where I want to stop it. As you can see, though, you can see the ivy going through it. Ooh, it just that'll be going through the whole of the wall. But once again, you got to stop somewhere. So I stopped it there. So I'm just going to keep going and going, digging it down. Um, that's about ground level there. This has got a uh, concrete footing actually, so that's all good. Um, so I'll go down to that basically if it's obviously not damaged, but we will have a look. Um, but I'll still dig down like the uh, the footing should be underground anyway. So I'll just assess the footing really, make sure it is strong, make sure it's all good. But anyway, if it is good, that's a bonus. If not, we'll just rip it up and put a new one in. And yeah, so obviously just do this section here. I like say it's. it's probably retaining about i don't know 250 300 mil light so it's not a lot but like i say we'll still sort of treat it you know still take precautions and stuff um but yeah so get the rest of that dug out this afternoon and uh yeah we'll see how we go like but uh it's just uh taking a bit of time i'm having to put sheets down and that try and keep it all tidy but you can see the amount of stuff that's come out oh look at that it's lovely in it the old blue lights with it old um you know obviously that bit's just split it is lovely it's almost like a weird sort of flint but yeah it might be a flint actually i don't know don't know much about blue lights but all i know it's hard and it blows easy but anyway yeah without further ado i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go slurp my coffee and uh yeah let's see what happens eh but no yeah it's just one of them days today it's probably been a bit of a boring video but uh we do have these days we always have these days you see prep well the rest of the job will go easy if you don't prep well and rush it mm, you're gonna get problems but anyway i'm gonna go have my coffee and uh yeah really really look forward to cleaning this out i love it i do right let's go i'm getting there i'm getting there you can see the pile i've got oh i've got literally just that little bit there to do and um, but for today that is it that's me done um, so I'll come in tomorrow, crack on with that, get all that sorted, and then, uh, yeah, start building, get a foundation in, get a few foundation courses in there. But yeah, it's been uh, absolutely on and off weather all day, absolutely soaked, so sorry I haven't filmed much. It's just uh, one of them days, but just thought I'd fill you in with what I've done. And uh, yeah, like I say, tomorrow will be good. Um, weather's looking all right. It's supposed to be quite bad in the morning, but we'll see how we go. But uh, Anyway, I'm going to get myself home, have a nice shower, and uh, yeah, tomorrow's another day. Over and out, and uh, see you in a bit.